Hey guys, RC here, back with Mist Survival Episode 10. I am turned around here a little bit. Not sure where I'm at. The mist is coming in, which is a new thing. Um, oh, there we are. All right. So what I did uh, off camera is I went and did a little gathering. Yeah, this is uh, not, I was not having a missed event when I was coming back a minute ago. So that's weird. I had to stop and reload. All right, we've got the bear there. All right, so this is where we're at. Let me kind of just, you know, we had started, we finished the cabin. And we were coming back and we had started expanding our fence here. All right, so one of the interesting things that I did find out, we're able to jump in here and we can unload all of our wood in here. So this could be a nice little wood stockpile. And yes, I've heard Game Edge say several times, uh, several dozen times, I wish there was a way that you could uh, shift click or something. All right, we need, I'm going to make all these sticks, 27 of them, just because we are going to need them at some point. I had already recorded this once, but it is what it is. So the bear is not helping me out here at all. Oh, I did not get any of my components back. That would be helpful. All right, so we're going to need a bunch of these, so let's just grab them all. All of them. Oh, was that sticks? No, that's my sticks. Okay. Damn. I was like, I just found more sticks. There we are. All right. So the goal here is to eventually, uh, you know what? I want to build, I did it, I did it a different way, but let's, no, I, I still need to go. Damn it. Damn it. All right. User error. All right. We're still going to do that. All right. And then we're still going to do that. All right. Now we're going to cancel this one. Right. And then we're going to build the fence in here. All right, I need to pay better attention here, fellas. All right. Then we're going to grab another one here. Hello. Oh, no. All right, well, that's fine. I, I screwed the angle up on that one. Couldn't cut through the house, but that's all right. Now, this one. And one more. I don't know if we're going to need to go all the way up to the house, but you know what? Better safe than sorry. All right. Do I have sticks? I've only got one stick left, but the good news is I have these four that I can now break up, right? And I did, <laughs> I had forgotten you can use the sledgehammer to break the fences and it only takes two hits instead of four or five hits. So, good plan there. All right, I would like, I got a fence there. I'm going to build a fence here. But I want a, yeah, fence, right? Uh, I had, I mentioned I was already recording a little while ago, and what I found out was the uh, zombies are attracted to the fences, to the gates. All right, and I would like just to build some fencing right here. I don't know why that's not snapping on, but it's not.
See if we can get this knocked out. All right. I think that's going to protect our back door. I'm not positive, but uh, we will give it a shot. All right, let's go grab us some grub. And we're going to eat the oldest one first. There we go. Let's grab that. All right, we got a few couple of hours before we need to go to sleep. But I need to get out to the truck. I don't know if that bear can hit us up here, but I'd rather not risk it. If we can at all avoid it. And... I know I can get up on the roof. That's awesome. Look at that. Then we can get up here. Sweet. Make a little skyway, man. Be like Robin Hood. All right, the dried meat is dried. I don't know. There, there was a glitch. If you leave it on the drying rack, right, it'll stay at 100%. And that is not true. You can uh, actually, you know what? It is not deteriorating. I don't think this is the percentage it was when we cut it. We'll have to keep an eye on that. So just remember it's at 95%. I may ask you guys about that. Let's move. Let's move you in here. And we've got the suitcase. We'll move you in there as well. There we are. Bingo. All right. I'm going to take all the wood because I do want that. I want the hammer. And what was in here? Oh, we've got our water. I've got room for six things. Um, I want that. Let's get rid of these. I want these, that, that, I want the pickaxe with me, and I tell you what, we'll put the water bottle up and the alcohol bottle. All right, let me make a couple of nails, because I am going to want those. Uh, I need, I'm only going to want three, I think. All right, let's put some stuff away. All right, I want more wood. I'm going to need 12 of those. I can make wood with that, so we can get rid of that. I'm going to go ahead and put that there. We've got the Coke. We need to start drinking the Cokes. They're going to start going bad here after a little while. All right, we do have that. I know I've got oh, some more wood. Good. Some more planks. Good. We've got leaves. I've got a gear. I've got two gears. Yay. Salt. Oh, salt needs to go in this one. So we do have two salt. We can salt one piece of meat. All right. Let's go ahead and get this going. So we're going to fill up this with 10 more liters. That'll give us 14. And I am just going to drop the full bucket right there. It'll sit there for a while. All right, I need the starter. We should have, there's my matches. And we're going to go ahead and make some firewood here real quick. Let's go ahead and get that distilling. I am so glad that starts up automatically. All right, so matches that and the firewood's already in there. Yeah. Oh, I've got one extra piece. Let's drop that right there. All right, I want to make 
wood. So we'll make that real quick. I've got the hammer. Hammer. I've got 12 of those. All right, I do need 10 cloth. 10 cloth, right? 10 of those. 10 of those. I've got that. So I need the nails and there's something else I need. Oh, the wood. Wood. Cloth. Is it components? I don't remember. Yes. And a hammer. So I need the tin nails. I'm going to make two batches of nails. Just to have it. We are getting tired. Oh, so tired. All right, so we should be safe at the back door now. We're safe across the front, and I like this, this big, nice bed. It just looks so comfortable. All right. That's the edge of the wall. So let's build that. All right. Let's go ahead and sleep for six hours. Look at that. Six hours gave us three quarters of a bar from dead empty. All right. Let's come out and double check this. Can I get up there? I bet I can. Mm, bet I could do it this way. In fact, I know I can. We did it already. Awesome. All right. So I think we're safe there. That protects our back door. If our back door is protected, then that means this entire back section is safe. Right? We can get through here. You know what? I don't think anything could have gotten up on there anyway. I have to climb to get on it myself. Bear's still out there. Yeah, the fence doesn't look the sturdiest, but it is what it is. That's a hell of a fall. You wouldn't want to be sleepwalking at night, would you? So I don't need to protect these windows. I could actually tear the wood out, maybe. We can set up shop up here doing all kind of stuff. I forgot about those until I just saw them. All right, so we've got the bear. We do have some zombies out there. All right, so here's, here's the next thing, and this is what I was going to do a minute ago when I had to reload the game because my truck flipped over. And yes, I could build a jack. But, you know, that makes too much sense. That's why you save before you get in the truck, right? Um, wow. All right, so what's the next thing we want to do? This is my problem right here. Because of the bear, I, I think we're going to have a hard time building that house. So what I think we need to do is build another small cabin. That's my idea. Now, if we put that right up against the back, actually, you know what? If we leave walking space, 
Well, we kind of want to be able to reach it, right? All right. So let's see here. All right, so we need 17 wood. And are we going to have enough nails? Yes. All right, so 17 wood. All right, let's grab some more food. We're going to eat that one. And let's go ahead and drink one of the Cokes. Because those do go bad. And the water won't. So we've got that. All right, 17 wood. Do we have, yeah, we've got plenty of logs in here. All right. Um, let me get rid of one. And I do don't need the component anymore. I don't need the metal scrap anymore. That's fine. I'm going to see if I've got some uh, some materials to make some more lockers. I may do that off camera. Oh, damn it. All right, I do have seven here. 6, 12, 18... 18 is all I need for right now. And then what we can do is I can store the logs in there. We've got a mist coming in. So we will do this there. All right, now... You know what? I would like, that's an arrow. I don't know if I need those. I'm going to leave those for right now, those two fences there. I want to move this fence up there. Um, and then what I can do is move these up to the corner of that house. I'll probably do that off camera because what I can do is like angle from here right to the corner and it should take the same number of fence posts. Problem is, can I do it before the bear gets here because I have to open my place up because I don't have enough. Oh, we've got a dried animal hide. We can store that now. We'll stick that in there. Well, actually, let's go and check something else out real quick. Now, can I reach? Oh, I can. Oh, that's great. That's what I was hoping for. All right, so we'll use the rest of the wood that I've got. We are dehydrated. I'm going to keep going. But that was good. We made some progress. All right, that'll be enough. All right, I don't think we're too hungry. Let's go ahead and drink another cola. We'll do that. We'll grab another six hours of sleep. 5.30 in the morning, good. Uh, look at the space, man. That is just so nice. I am really happy with how this is coming together. All right. I don't know how much wood I've got. Oh, we're, we're done with wood. We used our nails. Now we're doing our sticks. Really didn't want to use the sticks there, RC. Remember, we want to move the fences. Uh, but you know what? Maybe this is for the best. Maybe we do this, and then we can get out onto this one and start building our walls. I think that might be the, the way to go. All right. Let's... Let's grab these. All of that. All right, we are going to get hungry here relatively quickly. All right, I don't like being the double whammy. 
So let's eat one more piece of meat. And then you know what? We may have to kill. Oh, we've got the dried meat, so we're good for a while. Um, and let's go ahead and drink the last soda. Now, the green ones, for some reason, the uh, ginger ale or whatever that is, does not go bad. So you can save those for a rainy day, I guess. All right. This takes a while, though, so this is uh, 50, 69 hours left, 59 hours. It's a long time. Long, long, long time. But we will keep going. So I, I think at this point, I want to build, I want to build one more big cabin. So let's think about it. I think we want to go with this one, right? I think, but I think on this one, so that's the front, but I think we want that facing in, into us here, like, all right, that looks like the ridge there. Maybe like that. And then maybe we could build that from our back door or from the edge of the front porch there. Um, I may want to move that. I may want to move that. All right, well, we are out of supplies. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and grab... Two pieces, we'll eat that. I don't want to waste it, you know, so let's let's not go crazy. And we've got some trees already cut down, so we will be able to get out soon for that. What we'd like to do is get uh start getting some of the hostages but i need to build up my uh i'm gonna have to figure out some way to go get that first hunting rifle and over by the gas station that i did some collecting at off camera is the best place to do that i think we're gonna work through the night here if i can um I think that's the best place to to do that all right you know what I do want to make let's make some more wood I don't know how much of this I'm gonna need all right and then I can take two more logs we're gonna to try to work through the night here so we've got some logs and some wood I'll need to make some more nails and then we'll have to go gather some more branches to make sticks my god I guess having Scott to chop down the trees is is much much better 5 a.m. we've worked through the night all right, let's go. I've got one of these. Salted meat does make you very thirsty. So always eat before you drink. Just rule of thumb. Because if you fill up on your water, right, then you're going to, it's the water's going to go right back down when you eat. So. It's just one of those things you have to be aware of. All right. Luckily, we are not. Let me make some more nails. I don't want to use a ton of these. So let's just get uh, let's just get two. Let's just get two and we'll make two batches of nails. 
That'll make 32. So that's good. I'm going to leave I'm going to leave that one log because that's you know, we're always going to have a need for firewood or something around here, right? So we'll just do this a little bit at a time. All right, we do have a mist. Wouldn't be a bad idea if we could farm some zombies. Oh, you know what? I am going to see if I can... Oh, there he is. Yay. All right. Let's get our spear. And look, he went right to the gate, as expected. Potatoes, you bastard. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let's use our bow. All right, I don't know if I hit him. I did, yay! And a frickin' glass bottle. You bastard. All right. Any, oh, there's somebody else out there. So far away, though, I don't think I could hit him. So, you know what? Let's use the gun. I think I killed him. Well, that's crazy. I could. But I'm a wuss. <laughs> Whoa. Why are they collapsing? The mist is not over. That's weird. He just collapsed. Strange. All right. Well, we'll eat. And that one's actually empty, isn't it? Good deal. All right. We're up to 14 liters. Look at that. All right. So we are going to store that now. Oops. If I didn't forget it, we're going to store that up here. So now we've got that going on. I thought that was a rock. All right, well, we'll just work away. There goes the mist. Oh, there was one right there on the hill. So work, work, work. We'll try to get this done. And then, oh, now we're into the nails. The nails, I don't know why, the nails just seem to take forever. An hour per nail or something like that. Gee whiz. Yeah, it's, it's a half hour at worst. All right. So let's go. Problem is, I am going to be out of meat now, aren't I? Because we ate the last one in there. We did. All right, so let's eat these. I think we're going to have to kill that bear next time we see it. Strange, now that I need him, he's wandered off and is not uh, bothering us in the least. All right, do I have one more Coke? No. All right, so we'll drink till we have enough. And we will, we'll get some sleep because we are really tired. Let's sleep seven hours. That'll be seven in the morning. And that almost got us 90%, I guess. 
All right, now that we've got a little daylight here, we can uh, see how this is coming along. All right, so I'm gonna have to go get some more logs, but we are putting in the nails I'll probably have to make a few more of those. Oh, another miss. Let's cancel, see if we can... Because uh... I would like to farm some of these guys. I could use the salt. But again, we're not seeing any, any zombies up this high. So that's too bad. Oh, I saw one right there on that on that edge you see his body down there look at that there's a couple of them right there but not close enough for us to get to get anything from them all right we can actually take some damage so we're starving we're dehydrated fatigue is there but you know not the worst all right um, now my problem is that's going to be the end of our food <laughs> I'm going to have to spend a whole day butchering and cooking a bear which is how it goes and the food goes fast when you're when you're working through on the fast clock like when you're building construction like that how insane is that? All right, that gets us. How are we doing? I've got one nail and no sticks. So do it. I guess it doesn't hurt us to do the nail. Boom, nails are done. All right, guys. Well, let's go ahead and call that an episode. I am going to go sleep through the night. I will go out and chop some trees tomorrow off camera. <clears throat> try to get a supply of sticks and what have you. And see if we can get that done. And we also need more wood back at camp uh, to replenish the supply that we've gone through. The, the house right here... I'm not... I'm not feeling that because there is a there's supposed to be another staircase right here and it looks like it's blocked out so i'm gonna have to reposition that um may come up on the top of the house right here to do it see if i can get a better angle there but uh, that will be something i'll do off camera thanks for checking it out let me know what you guys think of how the base is coming together and we will see you guys next time. Once I get some of this built up and I have a place for the hostages to sleep, I've got to go out to the first bandit camp, the small one. I've got to try to kill those guys uh, and get that hunting rifle. Hopefully it drops. And then, uh, and then once we have the hunting rifle, then we can really get into the mining, building up our bullet supply, and, uh, you know, we'll have the help around the base. Now, the last time I played this, you know, when I would assign the, uh, you know, the, uh, Scott and Kate and Rachel, they were inside one of the houses and they like fell through the floor and you could see their head and arms sticking through the floor, but they couldn't move anymore. And that's what caused me to end that save because they couldn't do anything. So anyway, we'll give it a, we're giving it another try. But uh, hit that like button, subscribe if you don't mind. And we will see you guys next time here in the mist. Bye.